Bonnie. What are you doing? He's running away. All right, what's going on, guys? So today, um, in case you couldn't tell from the last video, um, you could probably tell on my Toro Recycler that you kind of heard the engine revving up a little higher. That's because we adjusted the RPMs. That was because usually when we would cut, we get poor cut quality, but I figured out what actually happened. And we're gonna show you how to adjust the RPMs on a Briggs and Stratton 725 engine. Over here, here, come over here. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a drill or some sort of something that you can get the screws out. And if you can zoom in and on here, get this screw out. Screw out. The screws out. And then you can pull your cover right off. Now, here's what happened. And if you come over here, this is your governor. And as you can see, if you come over here on the side, it's it's still kind of bent. Because what happened when I was mowing one lawn, I sh there was some this bush got really overgrown, and there's grass still growing under that bush. And what happens when I push the mower into the bush? This RPM, this governor switch went backward. So in that, it lowered the RPMs and lower cut quality. So all you got to do to fix that, is while the mower's running. Just you take your pliers, pull it out a little bit, you're good to go. Right. Make sure you don't let, let it rev too high. Yeah, uh, don't rev too loud. Yeah, you don't want it to go too high because um, you could blow your motors. Yeah. Um, uh, if you have a cheaper mower, I don't suggest you do it. Um, because, you know, cheaper motors, likely to blow up that screws in as you can tell when we started the rpms are a little higher now that is very very high guys yeah not super high but we raised the rpms i actually raised them up a little more than they yeah. were I, I bent that tab because it was all the way down here as you can see my hand we bent it up a little bit like that, but I bent it straight up. So it's a little higher now, a little higher than normal. So let's hope for even better qu cut quality than uh, Long Gear Vlog 19 when we film with this mower. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the one thing we were just going to answer. Second, we got some weed whacking to do because next video I got I to gotta get some mulching done. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, so real quick, I want to show you guys how to tune up your um, Echo Weed Whacker. I got a, a spark plug. So what you're gonna do, just, now, you, you gotta zoom in here, come over here. So we're gonna compare, and it doesn't look bad. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take your little thing that you get in your echo box, and get this little wrench. You're gonna wanna, watch out real quick. This one is really tight. Don't want a tight spark plug, but this is from the factory. I never changed the spark plug. So we've got to get it changed. See, see how it looks. So we're gonna unscrew it. And that's bad. See how black that looks? Look at this. See, this that's is the bad. old one. This is the new one. So we're gonna do. I don't know if we need these, this little washer thing. Doesn't look like we need it. <laughs> so will this affect anything? Okay, so I need that washer piece. So what you gotta do, is you take your spark plug and you gotta make sure you have it aligned in there. You don't wanna strip the threads. This is really important that you do not strip your threads and make sure it's it's aligned. You don't want to just jam it in there. All right, so now now it's tight by hand. What you want to do 
if you want to make it snug and then pull it one more time. So if you want to bring the camera over here, all you do is you have it. Tighten it. And then we're going to get it snug. Oh, it's still loose, so we're going to tighten it some more. All right, snug, and one more pull. We should be in business. Connect it. Let's give it a start. Watch out. Yeah, that's good. As you can see here, we got like no mulch in the beds. Yeah, hardly. Hardly any. And we have a ton of weeds. Yeah. So one of these days, I'm gonna get some mulch put down and I'm gonna film that. But real quick, we have to get these weeds ripped out. So for the remainder of the uh, vlog, why don't we just rip out some weeds, why not? Yeah. What we do is you just take the weed and you um, put it in the bucket. Yeah, so put it in the bucket. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get these weeds ripped out. Put on a little time lapse in for you, why not? Yeah. So Brady and I are out riding our bikes. Um, I know this has been a shorter vlog, but anyways, um, next vlog um, tomorrow, I'm gonna be getting some mulch. I'm gonna mulch that playground. Brady and I got all the got the majority of the weeds. Oh look, there's a drone. That's Giovanni's drone. I know it because he always comes over to my house with that drone. He tries to. Wait, look at that. I, I, and we, why don't we go over to his house right now? Yeah. Tell him we have your drone and we're going to, it's on YouTube. Let's go. Let's go. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. this I know this is short. Don't dislike the video. We got more vlogs coming soon. Yeah. We have a vlog tomorrow. We have a vlog. We have vlog care vlog 22. Cool. Yeah. Get some zoom in on that thing. I wonder where he. Oh, it's going back. Giovanni is. He's probably at his house. Let's go over. Let's go over there. All right, guys, we'll catch with you. Let's go see if it is his drone. All right, so it turns out that that drone was indeed Geo's. He's over there. He's over there on the other side of the field. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, see ya. See ya.